Good morning. We're heading out today to see a couple of the big tourist attractions around here. There's a waterfall and some caves and a sunset boat tour on the Mekong River. We don't do a lot of tours, but this one just sounded too good to pass up. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Already starting out to be a cool adventure. We really have no idea what we're doing today. We got picked up by a minivan, dropped off at another one. Then we came down to the river, so we're on a boat. We don't really know precisely where we're going, so you'll figure out as soon as we do. Katie's back there making friends already. That make the trip go good. Well, it figures. It has been beautifully sunny all week. We come on a tour on the river, and all of a sudden, our arrows will blot out the sun. It's overcast and cloudy. We're going up the Mekong River. Not really sure where we're going, other than up the river. They said we'll be a couple hours. What I can tell you is that this is absolutely stunning landscape, even with the low clouds down over the mountains. So grateful that we're getting this opportunity. We're just gonna try and capture some of this. I don't think that I'll be able to, but this is just gorgeous. It is a darling playful little tiny homes all along. It's fantastic. We are coming up to Pocket Caves, which is right over there. That's that one. Oh, that's not where we're going. Never mind. It's not over there. Well, that is something. Wow. Those guys are taking the slow boat back. I think we'll stick with the motorboat thing. <laughs> that's beautiful. Wow. These are incredible. I think that's where we're going. And I believe that is Pacow Caves. You know, the thing I said before. Pretty awesome that this is like a big tourist spot and there's people here, but it's not packed. We got 40 minutes to explore this massive cave system. Pacow Ting Cave. We would be disappointed if we went to Ting Cave later. I'm not sure what those are for, but you can buy fish. For a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to Hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. It's cool, there's little Buddhist statues everywhere in here. Pretty tight, even though there's not a lot of people, it's pretty tight. Get me up, so and in, so I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. Oh, wow. Don't fall. Did the lower one first. It is really small. Pretty cool. Let's see what the upper one's supposed to be a little bit bigger is like. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day because I found my way. Of course, the obligatory temple dog. Every cave, every temple has to have a dog. They're issued at birth. Oh, wow. Lots of stairs. That's a lot of stairs. Last couple of stairs. We are terribly out of shape. 
Another cave, they turned into a temple. I can't say that this is really spectacular, but it's definitely neat. And there's so many statues. Nice workout in the morning. This area though, absolutely gorgeous. Definitely worthwhile coming up here just for the whole experience. Yeah. Amazing. So far, loving everything that we've experienced in Laos. It's a great place. Back to the boat. <laughs> Dam Ting is a beautiful natural cave in a mountain cliff located on the Mingkong River bank to the west across from Pakbu village where the O River flows into the Mekong River. It wasn't really what I was expecting. I was expecting more of like a whole bunch of caves, but it was still beautiful. Going up here on the river, definitely a must. And the scenery on the outside and the animals was incredible. I'd highly recommend coming here. What have you seen already? Well, we saw elephants, cows, water buffalo, chickens, and goats. I was trying to think of the word. <laughs> that sometimes eludes me. But yeah, it's been a beautiful trip so far. We have this very nice uh, buffet included. Look, it, it comes with buffalo, chicken, pork, satays, all sorts of different uh, vegetables, fried, eggplant, garlic bread, which is my favorite. Mm. No sugar on it. This is shocking. <laughs> this is really good. This is buffalo. It's a little chewy, but it tastes like chicken. Oh, actually, that was the chicken. <laughs> this is the buffalo. Oh, that's really moist, juicy has a little bit of a gamey flavor to it. I need buffalo again. This is delicious. Some dude just hanging out here, coming in to eat. That's pretty awesome. They say that Tom is free. Then why is it so precious? Oh, I'll say. Cute. For the next phase of this operation, we are headed to a waterfall. No idea which one. Also, no idea if any of this is actually going to capture because the camera just crapped out yet again while I was filming the elephant. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. If you didn't see it, uh, there was an elephant. It was pretty cool. There's Katie. <laughs> Katie's cooler than an elephant. I mean, oh, we're just getting to see more things than we told them we wanted to see on our trip. So. We're like, hey, take us to a waterfall in a cave. And so far we've had a boat trip, lunch, a cave. Just keeps getting better and better. Theoretically, our guide is up there buying tickets. We are now somewhere near a waterfall. If it looks like the sun is lower in the sky, that's because we've been in the minivan for a long time. Long time. I need a nap. But, uh. Well, the riding's not quite over. We're now in safari truck. <laughs> Cold sea waterfall. Let's try it. They have a sun bear rescue right here. And that is significantly closer than we got in Borneo, I'll tell you that. Dude is like right there. He just chilling. Here comes his little buddy. Big old fuzzy cheeks. Looks like a puppy. Oh, it's beautiful. These are not sun bears, these are moon bears. Got that wrong. <laughs> wow. Just gorgeous. Color of that water. And a sapphire jade, wow. Well, the sun's starting to fade, but look at that. It's more of an emerald jade. I said sapphire before. A 
these falls are absolutely gorgeous. Um, we heard that to come in the morning, they said we didn't really choose what was going on with this tour. You definitely want to come in the morning. It's beautiful now, but the sun's already setting. And so it would be way better to come here in the morning and spend a few hours. Yeah. But this is, that's pretty incredible. So this is, with all the people, it is still pretty amazing. Yeah. Wow. What a great way to close out the day with a little bit of Hmong culture in the village. If you get to Luan Brabang, definitely recommend taking a tour, any tour, it doesn't matter, clearly we didn't plan this one. And I would say go sooner rather than later. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is getting increased pressure from tourism, so you want to get there before it changes. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>